So Andy Buffer Sledge leaving the cage now. It sounds um, from talking to Dave beforehand, he's a pressure fighter. He's, his goal is to constantly pressure his opponent and not give him any room to breathe. He doesn't mind whether it's on the on the feet or on the ground. So we'll see how Jake handles the pressure. Dave, the more experienced fighter, having had four contests. Jake just the one. Nice take down there. He's landed in guard. Again, this is an amateur contest, no headshots on the ground. Dave with good head control needs to start looking for some missions. Jake needs, to, Jake needs to clear his head and get up. Jake needs to get some posture. He's switching to an armbar now. Oh, on his out. And he's passed into side control. And he looks to a pasta mount there. He's got full mount position now. He's working here for an arm triangle. To finish it, he would be good, better off to step off to the side. Or he's rolled to his back. He needs to use his use his hips here. He's out. What do you think there? Do you think that Jake should have given up position to go for that submission? I, I wouldn't have said so. I, I'd have uh, preferred to have seen him to whip over into. Uh, side control and, and sit through with it I'd agree I think um, an arm triangle is a lot better uh, finish from side control it's quite difficult to finish from mount if you and I, I sit through as well it, it tightens up the submission in MMA I don't believe that. oh it looks to be working for it no it's quite easily cross faced there in MMA I don't believe um you should give up position for a submission, even an amateur way, you're not risking being elbowed in the head. It's not a good idea to go to your back if you don't have to. So we have uh, Jake on his back here and Dave working away from top. Dave needs to carry on being, uh, letting some shots go, looking to pass the guard of um, Jake. Jake should be trying to keep head control, looking for submissions. He looks to have an overhook on his right hand side. And he's let that go. Lee has the look, looking to possibly get them stood up, asking them for more action. On the ground here, Jake looks to be holding on and he's keeping a closed guard. I, I'd prefer to see a fighter on the on the back working from um, an active guard. That's the how end of you, round how, one. How would you score that round, Andy? I think it's a fairly even round to be honest. I think uh, they both had the, the strong points and uh, submission attempts and defences. Um, I don't know, how would you score it? I think it was um, very close to call. It's always interesting uh, whether you would score 
a takedown, score for a reversal, score for a submission attempt or a submission escape. So it'll be interesting to see how the judges do score this if it gets that far. Both fighters look pretty fresh to say they've just fought for three minutes. Obviously yeah, very it fit. Was, it was quite a quite a decent paced fight. Both fighters do look very fresh. And, um, Ready for like round gonna, two. Looks like we're going to have an exciting round two. And off we go for round two. Dave coming out with leg kicks. Ross with one of his own. Both throwing body shots to the punch in there. Be nice to see him get some body into, into those uh, punches and see if we could see a body shot stoppage. There's quite a lot of single shots being thrown. It'd be, um, I think fighters have worked better a bit with uh, combinations, although if you do throw combinations, you could be susceptible to a takedown. Interestingly, neither fighter looking for the takedown so far this round. Looking to stand up and trade a little. Yeah, the, the first round was um, fought most on the four, so maybe they're going to feel each other out and see uh, who's got the advantage on the feet. We might see a takedown coming later on. Both look pretty, quite confident in the stand-up. But again, like you say, all single shots. Oh, and a, a, dub, a double leg into um, guard. I think Jake thought That's better it. of it and uh, felt that he'd be uh, better on the ground this, for the rest of this round. Yep. Same, same takedown he used in the first round. Interestingly, Dave looks to almost have a body triangle there in guard. In, um, quite long legs. He seems to have a more active guard than Jake when he was on his back. Oh, and a beautiful reversal. Very, very good. And Jake putting his feet too far forwards. Gave the reversal straight into mount. Look at looking for that arm now. It'd be interesting to see where we can take this. I'd let that go. Let it go. Here, Jake should be keeping his elbows in. He should not have his arms up high. If he, as soon as your arms are away from the body, the weak and susceptible to being submitted. Div looks like he's got decent awareness and uh, holds the position quite well on top there. Again, I'd like to see a lot more bridging. Uh, when um, when my fighters are on the bottom from the corner, I will be shouting for them to bridge non-stop from this position. They need to be... Uh, well, it looks like he's looking... At, he's bringing his legs up, looking for... Um, to attack for a leg, but... Interesting, when, when you were talking about the bridging... That, that was the, the most trouble David had holding position as soon as um, Jake bridged. Yep, and, and then reverses. Right on the bell. Uh, how would you score that round then, Dave? Again, it's a very close round. I'm glad I'm uh, commentating and not one of the judges. Both effective aggression. There was a takedown, a good reversal. I think the stand-up was very even, single shots exchanged. And then... Uh, Jake got a good double leg, Dave got a good reversal. It's a close one to call. Good to see both fighters still looking fresh. It looks like we're going to have an exciting third round and... Uh, with a fight this close, it could decide the, the outcome. So, final three minutes here. I think both fighters are going to give it their all. Both looking for the first win, like we said before. Nice touch of gloves. Oh. <laughs> Bit cheeky as well. A, a sneaky low kick on the touch <laughs> of gloves.
Again, exchanging just single shots in the stand-up. Now, if I were Dave, I'd be watching for um, Jake's double leg. Oh, Attempted for it there. Yeah. He doesn't I mean, really change levels to, to make the shoot. He's, um, no, he just he comes in and... He seems to be bending from the waist, which... Uh, might be something to look at. Yeah, in, in the future, he's got the take down there. In the future, though, he could be open to knees to the head and uppercuts. But here is a su successful with the takedown. He's now working over to his own corner. Always good so he can get advice. He's looking to pass the guard. Dave looking for a sweep, but didn't get it. You can see Look the difference here when, um, again. when Dave's on the bottom, he's actively going for submissions and uh, quite often using an open guard, whereas when uh, Jake was on his back, he'd like to have a closed guard on. It looks oh. like he's working for a triangle here. I, I do not like the slam escape to a triangle. I think it can often put you more in more danger. You should just get your head up, posture up and get out of there. It looks like... It, Hold him nice and tight. Dave needs to keep that head control. Pull the head down, lock his legs oh, up. He's and locked he, in he tight. Be finishing this here. If you he can turn his hips out slightly to the side, a slam is not uh, a good idea from here. He needs to keep uh, his head up. Keep his head up and slide out. He needs to get that elbow through. And he's escaped. Good. He's all almost the same reversal from, bef from before. A bit of a scramble here for top position. And Jake's finished on top in half guard. He escaped that triangle better. He used more posture and standing upright rather than going for the slam, didn't he? Yeah, he was. It, I think after the first slam, he realised it would be tight, and when he lifted up the second time, he kept his posture, his head up, and uh, got his elbow back through. Good escape. He's now looking to pass to Mount, and he has. He's established full Mount. Let's see if he can do something with this rather than just hold on. Coming up to the last 10 seconds of the round. He could do with cross-facing him here and making some distance. Um, he's not going to be able to do anything from this position. And that's the end of the fight. Be interested to see how the judges see this. We thought it was a fairly even contest. It was a very close fight and um, went both ways. <laughs> I think that's the I think you can't argue with that decision. It was a very close fight, but went both ways. Neither of us could call that fight, so I think uh, the majority draws the, the best decision for that.